Howdy heartthrobs. I'm only bloody out again. It is the last weekend of October. It is unseasonably warm. I'm hot even in just this t-shirt. Might be the extra fat I carry, but we won't go into that. So I'm out looking for a spot in a regular woods that I use, but a different area of that woods. I have got, I treated myself to a new stove, um, a Trangia, but it's the old military version. Swedish Army Ranger stove, I think they call it. It's a Trangia. And because of that, should have bought me catapult. Because of that, I have bought a load of fresh ingredients and I'm gonna cook me up a storm. Might be shite, but there we go. In the hammock tonight, so I actually want a night's kip. And as I walked out the door, the postman turned up with a product that someone wants me to review. Review won't be in this video. You will see the bit of kit. It's either gonna make me look like a tart or it can be a handy bit of kit. We'll find out, won't we? Fat lad waffling, cue the music in a bit. What's that lurking in the woods? Is it a bear pulling its put? Oh no, it's Nobby on the prowl again. Scratching his back against a tree, then digs a ditch and bends both knees to squat above it, dumping wild and free. Nobby, 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 Nobby. Pop man and pop beast to cook a roll, kill feast for you. Nobby, Nobby, Nobby. You can find him in the woods, gotta wonder what he's up to. Surprise, the hammer takes that way, yeah, he's no oil painting, that's for sure. When he don't suffer fools at all, he's got a friend with just one body. Down we know he loves us all, but we never let it show. Nobby, 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 Nobby. Pop man and pop beast to cook a roadkill feast for you. Nobby, Nobby, Nobby. You can find him in the woods, gotta wonder what he's up to. Well, that was a slippery, wet, overgrown walk-in. And I'm probably about two, three hundred yards from where I was last time I was here. But I'm all set up. Just so you know what you're dealing with with me, I set my video up for a uh, time-lapse. And then when I put my hammock in between two different trees, it might work, who knows? Let's have a quick look at what I'm rocking today. Sargasso tarp. Can you see that? Yes, you can. Sargasso tarp from 10th Wonder. They may have a couple in stock. He ain't made stuff for years. It is a real shame because if you have a look at this tarp, it's shaped, the fronts go down and Velcro together to give you a tarp with doors. That is an 11 foot hammock. Gets covered completely by that tarp. I've had this over five years. It's been hammered. It's been great. Little tiny things with it. You're not gonna see, but the corners have pockets in them. So when you do your ropes up, Stick them in your pockets. And as I say, look, Velcro for your doors and all that shizzle. The hammock is the One Wind Zippered Hammock. Second time out for this. I absolutely loved it last time. I'm not gonna put me under quilt or anything on just yet. I'm going to wait until um, it gets dark. I'm pretty well sheltered here. I can't see anyone finding me. I said that last time and I had a family of five walk past. But there we go. What have I got to show you? Right. I have absolutely no idea what this is gonna be like as it turned up as I left. You know like the 30 meter tapes you get that you can roll up like that. But this one is, I believe, it doesn't say it's either 13 foot or 16 foot of light. I think it's a 13 foot one. So I'm gonna run that around my hammock. Plugs into a USB port, so I'm gonna run it off a power bank. It's all singing, all dancing. Um, what does it do? It goes with the music, goes with your voice. You can have all sorts of colors. You can have a racetrack going around your tent. I just want light. 
you know, being old and shit. Um, so yeah, I'll let you know how that goes. As I say, don't know anything about them. Not going to be a review. That'll be over. Guess where? Me review channel. But I'm just about to whack that up now. Right, so I've plumbed them in. As you can see, they're like Christmas lights at the moment. Um, I'm going to reconfigure my app because obviously I only want them to be light lights. Don't really want to be hanging around in the woods looking like I'm at a pride parade. Not as anything wrong with a pride parade, but I'm camping. Um, yeah, they seem to work. You can see them hopefully in this even though it's light, light. So I'll turn them off. I'll leave them going tonight for a long, long time and see if they last the night with me power bank. But no, the concept is a really good concept. It's not a big thing to carry, not heavy to carry. Um, I'm hoping I can just change them to one color and leave them one color. I've got a green, a red, a blue, a yellow, purple, um, a white and a light blue colours that they come with. String of lights. They've got a sale on, a 30 day sale on the link below. Have a look. Hellion, I'll let you know more when it's dark. Oh, right then. New bit of kit, bought, paid for by me. Um, I've been after or thinking about getting a Tranger for quite a while. Just couldn't pull the trigger because I've had some in the past and they've always gathered dust and I've ended up dumping them. Um, the new Tranger is 25, 27 kits, they're good. Start off at about 45 quid upwards to however much you want to pay. I, as you may know, am tighter than a camel's ass in a sandstorm. I went for a cheap, Swedish Army Ranger stove, which as you can see, well you will see, I'll just take the strap off, is a Trangia. Comes all stamped up like Trangia. Frying pan, little grippers. Don't worry about me bellows, I'll put them in there. Doesn't come with your simmer cap, I bought that. Trangia stove. Which goes together like so. Two pots. So what I'm going to do today, I want to give it a good test. So I'm going to cook up with proper ingredients. As you can see, I've got some minced beef and I've got some minced pork. I'm going to mash them all together. I'm going to add some onion, peppers, mushroom in there. Make them into meatballs. I'm gonna fry off all my other ingredients. I've got olives, uh, more peppers, garlic, mushrooms again, more onion, herbs. And I'm gonna make some Swedish meatballs in tagliatelle, on tagliatelle. Give me a chance to use all of the kit to see how it works. So I'm gonna empty my meat. I've put into here some um, pepper and salt at home that in there like so I am going to dice up some of my onion come on that'll do up a couple of peppers why not hopefully they're not too hot because I'm crap with heat that should do it Make sure I don't touch me Hampton or me eyes. 
before I wash my hands. <clears throat> couple of mushrooms it sounds like I'm chopping great but I ain't you can go in there that was a snort, wonder where that come from. Bit of garlic. Put a bit more garlic in them and an egg to bind it. Then I'm going to dump my hands in that, mix it all round, and make meatballs. Yeah, lovely. Smells good. Very sloppy. I don't mind that, that'll fry off. Oh, you can stay there, right. What I will do as well, I will save some of this meat and I will have a patty in the morning. Pig meat and beef meat patty. Sounds alright, doesn't it? So I'm going to brown these off in a minute. Stick them into the other pot. I'm going to add me passata, all the other vegetables, more mushrooms, onions, etc, etc. And they're going to let that hubbly bubbly away. lovely jubbly for about half hour or so and then I'm going to start on my tagliatelle my tagliatelle now one thing I will say is I presume that the pan that comes with the Trangia 27 is bigger than this I don't know might not be Right, you'll do for now. I need to go wash my hands and uh, crack on with the rest. Dip you in. Get that alight. <laughs> right, she's starting to bloom. Get that on now. Let's get the trusted spatula. As you can see, I've cut up some more mushrooms and garlic, and of course, the onion which after I've um, fried that off a little bit and browned them off, they're going in there. Fry off the onions, that'll go in there. I'll add the passata, um, more peppers and olives, all in there. Let that boil away for quite a while. I might need to use some simmering. Then I'm gonna load that into one of my bags, um, clean it all out properly and put the tagliatelle in there, only takes a few minutes. Sounds like a plan, sorry I heard saying, I don't know what it is, probably a squirrel or some shizzle.
so they're starting to brown off. They're not holding together as well as I'd like, but they are holding together. Not much stickage going on with the pan at all. I really can't argue. I could probably do with turning that down to a little bit more of a simmer. But so far, so good. 25 quid from Military Mart I paid for this. 25 quid, plus postage package. Um, if you get the grade A+, um, which is a bit more, it's brand new. But they're built to last. It's military kit. It's a Trangia. Does what it says on the tin, doesn't it? Have a look at me balls. A couple of them have not held together as well as I'd liked. But, worst case scenario, I'll be having boiled nose. But for the most part, I've got meatballs. One little area here where it's got a bit burnt. But you get that with the transurinal. and all. Quick squirt. Whack them in. While they're frying off, I will add me passata. Might be a bit much, but AO. Italian herb. Oh, a lot of Italian herb. Because that is quite a lot, I believe. I'm gonna add a little bit of vegetable, half a cube of veg stock in there. That doesn't smell like veg stock at all. That smells like beef stock. I might have picked up the wrong one. We'll find out, won't we? Do like the smell of fried onions. Right, while they're frying, Mushrooms in. Save a couple for the morning. Olives in. I'll use the olive bag to put my meat in. As you can tell, I ain't a chef, but I do like to eat. Right, get you out of there. And into there. Bit of a stir around. I think I've... Uh, Certainly made enough. Ooh. And smashing up my balls. Right. Get you on there. And you on there. Lovely job. Just gonna clean him out. Cut up some more uh, stuff to put in there a little bit later on and uh, boil up my water and that for me tagia telly. So unlike the modern trangias, which have little legs that fold down or fold up to hold your frying pan or your pots, these have got a lip around here that sits on top of the windshield, upper windshield, and in the right place. Seems to be working a treat. Let's have a look, see if she's still bubbling away. What can you say, eh? That smells delicious. I've got to say, I'm actually looking forward to that. I think I've made too much. Because <laughs> I've got tacky Italian all. Ooh, there's no way I'm getting through all of that. But I'll give it a damn good go. Thought so far on this, I'm liking it. 25 nicker. I've not tested it in uh, the howling wind. It's a transia. They've been around forever. I don't know why it wouldn't work. At the moment, I see the state of the pans and that. That has got a little bit of a uh, singeing in it. Boil off some water in it, get some moss, give it a scrub. I reckon we'll be golden. I'll show you, won't I? I'm going to give this about another five, maybe ten minutes just to make sure that meat's cooked through. I'm going to transfer over and get me a, a taggy a telly.
on the go. I was going to make a brew, but I've got my firebox with us. A real firebox, funnily enough. Um, and I don't really want to be starting a fire should someone make their way through here. They shouldn't make their way through here because it's a mission. But I did. Right, I'd say she would be about ready. That was hotter than the sun. So, just get me some water on. Should be enough. Plop her on there, bring her up to the boil. Add me taggy a telly, drain her off, transfers over some meat and tomato -y goodness. And then I'm gonna add some cheese that smells like tramps undercrackers. Cause you can't have <laughs> meatballs without undercracker cheese. Meatballs and undercracker cheese. Winner. Right then. Tagliatelle is all but done, so I'll go drain that off, put that back on the flame while I'm gone, come back, dish up. Right, get a meatball or two in there. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. bit of sauce, mushrooms and the rest. All topped off with some tramp pads. Now, it might not look like restaurant quality, but I'm sitting in the bleeding woods with a 30 year old stove. You know what they say? The proof of the pudding is in the eating. So I'm gonna try a little bit of meatball. That's good. The only trouble I have got is with a spork, you can't twirl the tagliatelle. That is proper home cooked food in the woods. Again, you don't want to watch a fat bloke eating. Because I'm going to be eating. I've got plenty to get through. What do I make of this trangia? I would say I was a bit quick to judge on the first couple of times I used them being out in the army. They always worked in the army. It was freeze dries, boiling the bag crap. But you see me have a big cook up, a little bit of moss, and a little bit of elbow grease, not a lot at all, a little bit of water, and she's clean, ready to use again. I mean, she's not perfectly clean, but she's woodland clean. No, I am proper impressed with that little beast. 25 knicker from Military Mart. I'm happy with that buy. Oh, that's upside down. Easy to stash. Everyone's a winner. The hardest thing to clean is my spork. Trangia, Swedish Army Ranger stove. It's a Trangia. Ooh, I'm stuffed. And I've been farting up a storm. It's uh, pretty much dark now, as you can tell. I'm gonna have a little play with these new lights, see what they're all about. 
I turned them on earlier, I couldn't get them to go single colour, it was just a dancing rainbow. Which is great if you're car camping or camper van camping or with the kids. Not too good for when you're sitting in the woods trying to be discreet. I'm going to have a play with the app to see if I can get them a single colour. Because I'm not in a gay bar. Right. Been having a play with these lights. I've actually figured out how to get them single colour. Which helps a lot. But if you look with the app you can brighten them up doing this with my phone by the way turn them down you can not sure if you can see that yeah, I'll brighten it up a bit have all different sorts of modes going on Party disco time. Turn them off. Turn it back on. Actually, quite good. Oh, not a bad bit of kit. Turn them off for now because I ain't going to lie to you. I'm really not feeling tonight. There's a lot of music off in the uh, distance. I think I know what it is, but there's not anything scheduled for tonight. I keep hearing a lot of voices and the road noise is a lot louder than I thought. Now, something just don't feel right. I ain't superstitious. I'm not even a little bit stitious, but yeah, I'm really not feeling tonight. I'm very close to getting in my hammock and uh, just chilling out. Turn the lights off, put a podcast on. It ain't late, so there could still be people using the woodland. I haven't seen any lights. No one's getting close to me quietly without light. Definitely not. It's just a weird feeling. I'll tell you what, I've had these lights on now for about an hour. And they're actually all right, you know. This is on the lowest setting. I managed to set it to a single colour. But um, I'm filming this on a GoPro. You can see me on the lowest setting, which is always a bonus, because GoCo GoCos? GoPros are notoriously shite um, in low light. Anyway, it gives you enough just to mooch around within five yards all around where you're kipping. If you turn them up bright, it gives you about 20 yards. They don't really give the game away. I'm not overrun with insects apart from him but yeah no I've been impressed so if we have a quick look let's go this way that's what it all rolls up in so put that up against my hand yeah not that big definitely not heavy I don't know what power it's going to suck from the battery but I'll find that out lowest setting Anyway, if it's good, I'll say it's good. I'm quite impressed. Don't get me wrong, you look like a tart, but they're actually usable. Well, I'm in bed. Actually turned out to be a really chilled night. Oh, mind playing tricks on me. But there we go. Those lights are still on for now while I'm listening to a flat earth debate tonight. Because there's never enough stupid in the world, is there? <sighs> no, probably enjoyed it. What to say? Didn't even get my firebox out, forgot I had it with me. What a numpty. Could have been sitting around a little fire. Um, this hammock, yep, yeah, still comfy. The only thing is, it's definitely better when you pull the sides out with the elastics. I didn't bother and that had me face. Those lights, I actually really like them. Um, they definitely serve a purpose. Packing up and stuff like that, having light all around you, brilliant. Brilliant. Um, I'll have to see what they do with the battery. 
pack. I've got a 20,000 milliamp, well used battery pack. Ain't brand new, ain't nothing like that. I'll see how long they've been on for and how much they use, just so you know, because I'm pretty sure you've all got old used battery packs and it ain't gonna be what the booklet says. It might. Waffling, waffling like buggery. Nothing to do with the Jack Daniels I've been drinking. Promise you. I'll be seeing you in the morning. Rain's been in for a couple of hours now. I'm still dry, still warm. And I love the sound of rain on the top. It's about two o'clock in the morning now. I've got to get a few more hours shut eye. <sighs> Probably get up about half five, start packing down. Make my hair. It means I won't get any sausage patty. And my day. Also, it's going to be bloody dark, so I'm walking out. Again, morning. Quarter to six. I've got to get a proper wriggle on. Uh, got a little layup in the weather at the moment. <coughs> oh, pardon me. So I'm going to get up, I'm going to a blue, I'm going to pack down, and I'm going to leg it. I don't like going home in the dark. I really need to start lounging around in the mornings. But stuff to do and all that. Right, that's me all packed up. Point is me showing you that I've left no trace because you ain't gonna see a bleeding thing, it's pitch black. Um, cracking night, really good night. Happy with me trangia, happy with me setup. Nice and warm, no issues at all. I'm happy with that little light. Happy with that little light, I'm happy. What more needs to be said? Don't forget guys, like, share, subscribe, all that sort of jibby jabber. Don't forget to comment, even if it's to say, oi fatty, you've got fat fatty, look at your fat face. All right, I'm off now, you're really not gonna see nothing. So this is ta -ra.